These are white bottoms. These is running shoes. But I ain't running, little bitch. So don't get shit confused. All right, everybody. Hey, everybody. How y'all been? Okay. I'm glad to say that I am back. Uh, uh. I made a poll on Twitter on which I wanted me to do a haul on next. Everybody mostly voted for was a thrift haul. So I have been thrifting for the past month. Some of it online, some of it in the Goodwill, Mission Addict. So we're gonna get all into that because I have a lot. Let me tell you my size right now. Vintage sizes, I am a 10 or a 12. That is my vintage size. And normal, regular, I haven't even bought regular regular pants in a while, but probably a size nine. Uh, my measurements are 28, 41, I'm a 34 around the top. So I wear like a small or medium. I don't go thrift shopping to find modern day clothes. I go thrift shopping to find vintage items. A lot of my clothes is more on the tomboy 80s, 90s, and Y2K, early 2000s, you know. But the nine, nine in the 2000s. That's what most of my clothes is based off of. For anybody asks, this is not my hair. This is a wig. I got this wig from Wig Tights. It's the Outre Half Wig Amber. I got it in 1B. And I think it looks okay. I don't know, y'all let me know. And I got a lot of jeans mostly. It was kind of hard to find tops, but the tops that I did find, they are unisex. Let's get right into this. These two items I did not personally thrift. These actually came from my mom's closet and it is these two tops. They are crop tops. This one is a Tommy Hilfiger crop top. My mom still had it. Laces up right here. Honestly, I would pair this up with a pair of low rise jeans and maybe like a Tommy boxer. So I feel like it will look good with more of a baggy style jean like if i had to be in this movie i probably would have been in friday that's what i mean and i i sure as fuck wouldn't have been felicia but i wouldn't have been like as girly as debbie i probably would have been dana or i would have been the homegirl that came over to uh braid her hair i sure as fuck wouldn't have been i could have enjoyed a little ratchet but and then the second one is a calvin uh vintage calvin klein top this one is also in a size small. Next thing, now this, okay, this one is kind of off. As in like, people might be like, how the hell are you gonna wear that? It looks like a abuelita shirt. I'm definitely gonna show you how I style this. I feel like this is a great summer blouse. And the belt did not come with it. I don't know why, I was drawn into it. There was like four tops that I was drawn into. Another one was kind of like a blue silk. It kind of looked like it could have been a pajama shirt. I was like, feeling like, don't go chase. It just looked like water, I, but I didn't get it. Out of all of them, I ended up getting this one because it has like different colors, like this screams vintage. I got this one from the Goodwill for 99 cents, but I got this after I got this. I got this from our missions attic. Where this matches it dead on. So I'm gonna pair this together. Tip, you have to go on with the open mind and you have to know that what you can work with. I got the top for $3.99. There's a lot of things that I've bought that people will be like, girl, where are you gonna wear that at? I used to rock vintage mom jeans that I thrifted. People will be like, girl, why are you wearing them TLC jeans? Why are you wearing them 1980 something? And I'd be like, cause I like them. And now people paying 70, 80 bucks at Urban Outfitters for some mom jeans. I got both of these online. I got this one for like $5, $10. They're actually both boy sizes. This is a boy's extra large and it still fits me kind of big so I could probably do a boy's large. And this one also is an extra large in boys. This one was missing a button. My plan was to wear it open. Basically perfect brand new condition besides that it's missing that button. And then there's this one. It has like that little football mesh sleeve. I feel like it look good cropped. These two are both Tommy. But I got this one at a Goodwill, maybe 45 minutes from here. And always go through the little boy section and the men's section if you're kind of like my style, because I always can find some good stuff. So I found this Tommy vintage striped green and white shirt in perfect condition. 
$4.99. Got this other one from a different Goodwill. I got it actually from the Goodwill. It's like right down the street from me. $4.99. And this one's a medium and men's. And this one is a small. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to style look. Now, this is another one that I got. I got this one on Depop. It's a starter jacket. I got this one in a size medium. It's perfect for the fall. I love stuff like this. Oh, this one. This one I found the other day by luck. Now, let me tell you, I was minding my business all over here on this rack, right? I was minding my business all over here on this rack, right? And so I was minding my business, put my little shit in my basket. And I just went like this, and I was like, hold up. Let me see that little piece. Boy, Anaheim, Mighty Ducks, starter jersey. It isn't an extra large, but I will still rock the shit out of this. I really don't care. Like, I was, I was shook. I was like... I snatched that shit so quick and I threw it in the cart and I even paid for it when I got to the counter because I was like, I'm not going to go in the dressing room and somebody dig this out. This was like one of my best finds and all my finds of all the finds that I have found. Okay? I, I was hyped about this one. And this one I did pay $12 for. And then now we're going into the jeans. Now, I'm not going to try on all the jeans because all the jeans do not fit me. I will be putting some on Depop. So this first pair of vintage 12 Tony figure high-waisted mom type jeans and these were in almost good condition they have kind of like this little hole right here I feel like it gives it that vintage look plus they're Tommy's I wasn't gonna pass these up as soon as I saw these I was like let me try them on and they did fit and they're also tapered at the bottom they're a little more bigger a little more baggier I got these for $7.99 and this next one, I have a pair of Levi's 550s in great condition too. They don't, these don't have any holes or nothing. They that real good vintage look, perfect tapered condition. The 550s actually are very flattering on me. These are a 10 regular, so these do fit me in 10. Like I said, I, I bounce between a 10 and 12 in vintage sizing. And then I have this pair of jeans which these are also from Tommy's. I actually found these the other day. It's probably a late 90s, 2000, because this is a boyfriend fit. These are more low, baggy, but these are also in great condition. And these are a size 12. These are both a pair of Levi's. Now, this is a darker one, and these are 550s, and these are a size 10. I put these on, and I'll be feeling like Selena. So these I got for $4.99. And then these are $9.51. These. I thrifted these a while back and I got this for like $4. And I just haven't been able to give them up because it's hard to find an orange tab or gold tab Levi's. On to the next pair of jeans that I've thrifted. These British clothing line. It says a size 8 by 33 The brand is called Britannia. These I also got for like $3.99 from the Goodwill. They fit very comfortable. They are soft denim. I kind of like the way the front is. Kind of pleated. Another tip, the denim does not stretch. That's another way I figure out if it's vintage or not. If I don't have my phone on me. Play with the denim. No stretch. These are some vintage Gap jeans. I got these in a size 12 and also paid like $4.99. These are in perfect condition. I love my mom jeans. Some make me feel like Selena. Some make me feel like somebody else. These babies I actually thrifted yesterday for $4.99. Another pair of vintage Gap jeans, but these are, they're just like the other ones, but these are black. Also a size 12, almost like brand new. I don't even think they were worn. When I go through the racks, I look at labels a lot of the vintage ones had big labels on i never really go through the khakis but something told me go through the khakis hold up wait a minute now these have like a corduroy feel to them buttercream buttercream rock skin buttercream so they're soft i mean i gotta suck it in a little bit to wear them but they fit me. Uh, would I wear a crop top with them? Probably not because that's a lot to suck in. I kind of look like a can of busted biscuits. It's a size 10. The last pair, the other black pair that I was telling you about. Also a pair of Lee 
vintage jeans. There's our 12. These have more like of a faded. They're in good condition. I want to cut these. I think I want to do the slit in the back. Now these two I got from the Missions Added. They were probably $2.99 to $3.99 as soon as I saw that little emblem. Some Polo, Ralph Lauren, low rise Flare jeans. So these are Y2K. They fit me no, so I won't be trying these on because these are a size that they don't fit you. These are five six, and I'm just I'm a seven eight nine ten. I live in twelve. Liz Claiborne, high waisted red jeans, like a really nice red. Don't even look like they've been worn. I got them to pair up with the red top in case I do decide to be Selena this Halloween. Now these babies are some of my favorite finds. Honestly, these, now these I did pay a little more to. I paid like seven bucks for them, but they had the little Velcro. They're in pretty good condition. They kind of have like a little fraying at the bottom. I'm, I plan on wearing these tucked into some boots for extra large. I don't know if they're extra large in men. They could be extra large in boys or women because they fit me pretty good. They fit baggy like I want to. I want to look like a backup dancer. These, these. Early or mid-2000s, these white track pants with a zipper on the sides. They came in perfect condition. Like they're white, white. They're not yellow, white. These are small, so I do think these are small in men. So I love the next two things I have are shorts. I did find finding some high waisted shorts. These are a brand I'm not familiar with. These are from High Sierra. These actually did fit me. So I know all my old ones that I have don't fit me. And then these perfect condition vintage Arizona high waisted shorts. Look at that color of denim. I'm so mad, but these don't fit me. And I did try them on and I got stuck in them, luckily. When I go thrift shopping, I always wear spandex shorts. Like, I wear shorts that I would wear to the gym because I don't try on this clothes and just cut on this. For hygiene reasons, like this one time that I tried on these pants that I knew didn't fit me. You gotta hold on to the <laughs> You can't get them off. <laughs> pull, pull, pull. Pull. <laughs> Next two items are overalls. Now, a lot of people have been wearing overalls this year. I've been wanting a pair of overalls for a long time. But when you got a lot of back, the front starts to cinch in. So then it looked like this, riding up your butt like this. So that's the only problem. But I thrifted these off of Depop. I think I paid 23 with $5 shipping. I think it's a large in boys because the straps are really short. I love these. Now these I found at the Goodwill in the boys section. Like I say, always look at the boys section. These are Y2K to me. They're like a wind pant material, Velcro overalls. Like I saw these and I thought of Cousin Skeeter. And the way you do your thing. These are Velcro too. Do these fit me? Sort of, kind of. I had to get them. I was so hyped when I saw them. $4.99? $4.99? Now initially I wasn't gonna buy it. I picked it up and I was like, oh, it has like that cool sailor type of theme for a scarf. I like the colorway. But I was like, four dollars for a little scarf. No, I'm paying four dollars for some jeans at the Goodwill. But one of the girls that work in the front, she hooked it up. She looked at the tag too. She was like, nine nine. Ninety nine cents. I was like, I bought this for multiple reasons. You can wear it as a headscarf. Definitely with my little wig, have my curls out. But I actually bought it because I like the little satin scarf shirts that people wear. Just kind of showing you how I do it. You just kind of put it in a triangle. Alrighty. And you drop it, drop the top. Pull them, adjust them. Kind of adjust it like that. You can tuck it in all the way around. And you have yourself a little scarf top. So, like I said, you have to be creative when you go thrifting. So, initially my mom saw the scarf. She's like, what you doing with this ugly scarf? And my brother was like, what you, where are you going trying to look like a pirate? But, oh my gosh, I got lipstick on it. These two babies. 
this one i won on ebay in a bid and it is in like perfect condition for 19 dollars and then this one also got it for 17 and this one's a little bit more like used and i love this because let me tell you something i don't like carrying purses some of these items that don't fit me, I will be putting on Depop and I will put my Depop account in the description box. Just look out for them. Yeah, 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 yeah